CNN Headline News. Real news, real fast. We'll follow this under what will they think of next. Coming up, Erica Hill will tell us about the unusual marketing campaign that's getting this song into the hands of listeners. Stick around. Last time you hit the movies, you may have found yourself with more than just the soda you ordered. Maybe a shrunken CD, perhaps with the song you just heard. Joining us now to talk a little bit more about these little guys known as Lid Rock is Dan Adler. He's the Chief Strategist Officer with the Convex Group. Good to have you with us. Good to be here, Erica. Thanks. And that song actually is making the rounds in movie theaters these days in a soft drink lid. It actually opens up. There's a mini CD, plays in a standard CD player or your computer. Where did the idea come from? You know, it was one of those opportunities to look at how to try to reinvent a business that everybody knows is struggling to find its, its sea legs now and to acknowledge that having developed a platform that allows us through a series of patents and even FDA approval to put a mini CD or actually even a full-size CD inside a soft drink lid to say what can we do to bring that to the market really well. And having done a couple of tests with some bigger labels, we decided to go after a real innovator, a guy by the name of Bill Edwards who runs Big Three Records, and really try to launch an artist whom few people have heard of, but knowing that in this platform we'd be able to get our music in front of tens of millions of people and literally distribute four or five million of these lids. Now there are over, I was reading, over 20 billion fountain drinks sold in the U.S. every year. You currently have a deal with, deal with Regal Theaters here in the United States and about 5,000 theaters to put these on soft drinks at the movies. What's next? You mentioned to me movies, games could actually go onto these discs. Yeah, I mean, think of everything you now get on a CD, a regular 5-inch CD that you play in your computer, and think of what happens if you now start extending that to a much smaller format and do the same kinds of forms of distribution. So, yes, you mentioned movies. Uh, literally, we could be doing a DVD in a little 8-centimeter format distributed on a lid. We could be doing full levels of video games distributed the same way. Mm -hmm. And we could also could be doing the same thing in terms of music and other applications. So for us, what, it, what is so exciting is really helping to drive a paradigm shift that acknowledges that people are out every day in places like quick service restaurants and places like convenience stores and mm -hmm. places like movie theaters and concert venues. What happens if you go to them where they are with content that they want at a price point that makes sense? and say, hey, rather than having to go off your path to go find something, let's give it to you on here and, and let you access it that way. We are running out of time, but I would like to ask you about copyright concerns. Given all the issues that we've seen lately over file swapping, illegal file swapping, are there any additional copyright protections on these CDs at this point? This is similar to what, what exists currently on an audio CD, but what's been so gratifying for us is finding that music executives at the labels music artists, music managers, and ultimately, most importantly, fans all understand that this is a new way for them to be getting the kind of content that they like. And then when you can extend that to video games, when you can extend that to movies, you literally can see a, a model whereby we could start doing uh, a rental model of movies where you wouldn't have to worry about taking out your credit mm -hmm. card and opening an account in a blockbuster, where you wouldn't have to worry about returns. And instead, you could have a little rental in a little lid, take it home, and toss it out. All right, well, we, or wish, recycle it more we wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. We're going to have to leave it there, but thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks very much, Erica.